This is our land, our way of life. Inyano no, inyako wando. Parima is the only Arikona speaking village in Guyana. With a population of over 800 residents, this land has been occupied from time immemorial and whose lives basically depend on farming, fishing, and hunting. Because of the fertile soil, residents have been engaged in farming near the mountains. The main crops that are grown are plantains, bananas, beans, cassava, peanuts, meadows, cabbage, pumpkin, and more. Every household prepares cassava bread, which serves as the daily bread for me. The food of the Arikonas is aurosa, which is eaten with cassava bread or fari. Most men are able to saw board materials using chainsaws. The purposes of sawing the materials are for building houses, bridges, and public buildings such as school. During village projects, residents are able to benefit through the contract reward. Salsa and Parima is part of our life and we've been doing this over the years where by we come together and help one another. The role of women in this part of self help activity in our community is very important. Work Tiatai, Nyaye Bumara, or I was an Ambonari Nyanga Nyanke, Nyaye Bipastijate. One of the traditional cultural practices is fishing, using a hyari found in the forest. The poison is then extracted from the hyari by means of pounding, which is later distributed into the river, creeks, or ponds. After catching the fishes, it's time to make a meal for the family. The two main ways are boiling and roasting, which is then eaten with a tasty cassava bread and pepper sauce. Families are able to gain income by means of selling farm produce within the village and other villages in Upper Masrani. Some people do craft, tailoring, and bakery, while others are fortunate to start a grocery shop. What else can be helpful than sports? Both young and old, males and females love to play football and volleyball. These games are mostly played at the two well-maintained playgrounds in Perim. So, if you are a sportsman or woman, please feel free to walk with your sports gear. In terms of communication, we depend on the radio set which sometimes is not reliable for residents. There are no telephone services or public internet. That is one of the setbacks or the challenges that young people in particular face when it comes to job opportunities and other important information. But life still goes on in the Arikuna village. During occasions such as national holidays and indigenous heritage month, the village comes alive with planned concerts involving jokes, dramas and singing. As indigenous people, we are able to tour the wonderful sites that God created in our village and we often trek the mountains to enjoy the flora and fauna as well as to view the beautiful landscape of our home. Welcome to Parima! We visit waterfalls, we, we do all kinds of um, recreational activities. What adds on more to this blessed land of ours is the mighty Uchi Falls, Panasima and Otowanda Falls.
religion contributes positively to the lives of every individual. So on the Sabbaths, being Seventh-day Adventists, we worship on, on the seventh day, which is Sabbath. But it is important to lay a very firm foundation for the children. As the scripture says, to train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. These things that we are doing in the lives of our children, even now, will be long remembered. Na wate ko wansang maamose dengong paringa ponggong, ale ko na ama.